right guys welcome to the i am Axit football channel i'm your host jd if you're new please do smash that like button share and subscribe if you are a avid member of the channel keep on doing that great work we really and truly appreciate it so anyways we have just recorded a video talking about the fa asking questions after the blockbuster move of mr dujan whisper richards the 17 year old teenage sensation moving towards chelsea and a pre-contract uh, we have done that video separate so you can go over there ask your questions and also follow up right here so this is the video that talks about what mr craig butler responded with and also the additional information to ask if this would necessarily cause problems towards craig butler and also the dujan whisper richards transfer so we're gonna go through what he had said here and then we give you our um detail detail analysis on the back of that conversation so anyways the cleaner um um the cleaner came out with a respond a uh, response um after mr butler all right so mr butler stated that no problem with english fa butler phoenix academy founder doesn't perceived any issue with probe into academy's status all right yes and they continue to state here phoenix academy founder craig butler said he expect no repercussions um to emanate from the english football association fa inquiry into his academy's affiliation status with the local governing body the jff the jff jamaica football federation and if you are questioning what they're talking about they're talking about because you have a minor um you have to always have the jamaica football federation or any federation um involved in that contract due to the fact that um it could easily well perceive that you're selling or abducting purses kids all right so that's the reason Reason why we have explained the side from jff and stuff to show that maybe it might not be a problem from the craig butler and phoenix academy's standpoint all right so butler who declared that he has an independent academy admits he has no affiliation with the jff or the kingston and saint andrew football association cassava the parish associate the parish in which the academy is based all right yeah 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 all right nevertheless he does not see um an fifa inquiry having any impact on his academy or the recent um chelsea signing of dujan whisper richards they fa are just asking if i am affiliated no there is nothing to worry about this is standard procedure no um repercussion he told the gleaner in previous years the academy used used to align itself with clubs such as Dwayne park stony hill central kingston and umbel lions all right however they have done they have not done so in most recent years it can be independent you have um independent academies if i wanted to be affiliated with the paris association association i would be affiliated with a paris association he offered all right so um he, he him himself proved that he has not been associated with the paris association or the jff so if the um the fa deemed that as a as a breach of um their act because it's their rules for their country you get me they have to align their rules to what they think is favorable to them it could still be a problem even though mr butler said he does not believe it would be a problem but the fact that they are questioning the situation that in itself raise um raise su suspicion to state that maybe they do have a problem with um transaction upon this way so this is something that we might have to still uh, wait on even though mr butler said he does not believe it's going to be a problem i'm hoping that it does not turn out to be a problem to be honest all right so days after phoenix academy boss announced that richards had signed a pre-contract agreement with chelsea football club the football association raised the question regarding phoenix affiliation with the jff 
Federation um, Federation agreed. Uh, Federation General Secretary um, Dennis Strong confirmed they had received the correspondence from the FIFA requesting confirmation of the Phoenix Academy's registration with the body. All right, so you know that it's something that actually sent to the JFF. So they are actually doing their probing. So it is a legitimate thing. It's not any makeup. All right, and then they come. They continued with the actual um article that we read from the first one all right which is coming from radio jamaica all right so you don't have to go into that i can just give it my side um all i have to say is um uh, mr butler um obviously we keep on learning things every day so maybe and, and also um bodies governing bodies worldwide add add things to their um portfolio um every single day so this might just be something that is new that you that he never knew of hopefully he does um so it's easier for this contract to go through because it's still a pre-contract so you still have a paperwork and also additional um clauses to be sorted out sorted out maybe closer to the time all right so hopefully this does not cause any problem but it still looks like it's something that we have to wait and see all right um i, I saw an article from the fa um questioning how much of their actual in um their actual local barn talents they are using inside the country so i don't know if this was a law that really pushed in or are they, they kind of tightening this one due to chelsea signing a bunch of young players and um maybe pushing out their talents to to get that extra shine and also other clubs as well but definitely the spotlight is on chelsea because you know that they when it comes on to signing kids they are the biggest um in front of that all right and also remember you have to always remember that um remember it's england first for them so they they want to make sure um their english their english team their english national team can always compete so they don't want to always develop other persons players so hence why they have to set in all of these young kids rule all right yes so um i'm hoping that everything is okay but it's something that we have to wait and see um how it rears it ed i think before this contract is completed which which should be uh, maybe in a few months time um, we will get an additional um answer if it should come out to be a problem from the phoenix academy side which we have to talk about that um that simply means it could scrap um a lot of things and for scrap a lot of things and impact the contract um, that is actually signed under um, the current regime at this point and all contracts um, inside um, England that connected that's connected to um, Mr. Butler and Phoenix Academy that is actually in um, line to complete. So if a Leon Bailey contract for Aston Villa, that, that will not be affected because he signed that on the back of an agency, not necessarily uh, not necessarily the academy. All right, so you have to look at a lot of things, but it could spell some problems if they believe it's actually a breach of their situation. So we are going to wait to see what time um, that rule came in. Um, how strong the rule is and how impactful it is um maybe with time um time um time time pass so we have to just wait and see uh, this is a video just to show you um what's at hand and how much we have to really know when we are doing these things so keep on doing the great work congratulations to mr richards and bless up guys smash the like button share and subscribe yeah.